Hello there, sports fans. This is Play It Right TV, and I'm Kinito Hanson. And this is Ayan Castillo. A very historic day in sports as our pole vaulter EJ Obiana has won for the very first time for the Philippines a medal from the World Championships, a bronze in the pole vault, an incredible win. And joining us from Eugene, Oregon, is the president of Patafa, Terry Capistrano. Terry, first of all, congratulations. I mean, it must have been an incredible experience to witness this. Um, thank you for joining us, Tito Saplay, right? I'm sure you have so much to tell us. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Uh, uh, for EJ to accomplish what uh, he was able to uh, accomplish. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he's not uh, here with us uh, because in about three or four hours, he'll be uh, leaving the dorm uh, in the U uh, University of uh, Oregon uh, to get to the airport, Eugene Airport, and then to LA to catch a flight in uh, LA to, uh, to Rome. So he's probably packing up his stuff right now, you know, because he's three or four hours. We had we had no sleep yet, so yon. And I thank you for you know, for uh, having me. Uh, for sure. Terry, tell us about your experience. You were watching in the stands. It must have been so suspenseful. Uh, yes, yes, and no, you know, because you know after Friday uh, when. Uh, when uh, he got through the qualifying, uh, 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 when he breezed through the qualifying, uh, uh, you know, both of us had, uh, well, well, in my case, you know, I had a great degree of confidence that uh, this kid is going to make it you know, to the podium. You know, I didn't tell him that, you know, because, but, uh, you, know, I had, uh, you know, I had this uh, uh, feeling after Friday in quali qualifying round. But uh, he he will make it. He was oozing with uh, he was oozing with confidence. Wow! So he was very confident. And you did mention when we spoke before the the World Championships. Na para maganda yung feel niya. So you you already sort of had an inkling that he would actually podium, make it to at least a bronze. And you were you know you were you guys were really aiming for the silver. But still, it was a spectacular. Uh, vault for EJ considering the field Terry I mean the top 32 in the world all the pressure around him right wow right uh, on Friday the top 32 in the world uh, tried to qualify for the top 12 uh, which is the uh, top 12 uh, making it to the finals uh, to, to, to uh, Sunday which is today or a while ago uh, but you know uh, reading the top 12 that made it uh, to the mm -hmm. finals, uh, most of them are people that he's been uh, competing with for the last couple of years, you know. As a matter of fact, for the last couple of months. You know? And he's been beating them, you know. Except Duplantis, of course. <laughs> that guy's in a different uh, planet, you know. So, yeah. But, uh, you, know, he, 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 you know, he has uh, risen above uh, most of these guys in the top 12, you know. And they see each other you know, almost uh, every other week or every week in the European the European tour. So this is nothing new to him. That's why I felt a, uh, uh, a substantial degree of uh, confidence. Because in the last uh, couple of months, he, ha he has been doing podium finishes you know, uh, against uh, most of these guys. You know? So yeah, there you have it. Terry, 5.94 meters. That's a new Asian record. That's a new personal best for EJ Obiena. And he had three attempts to make six meters. Overall, in the entire championships, ang bilang ko, he had 15 total jumps, including the three where he tried to hit uh, six meters. What can you say about his stamina, about his strength and conditioning for him to go... 15 jumps in this competition. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how many jumps it was. Uh, I suppose, well, you, you counted it, so it must be yes. 15, you know? Oh, it was 15. Eh? Okay, fine. Uh, you know, under uh, today's condition, doing 15 jumps is quite difficult. See, the plant is, I think he did about seven, uh, seven or eight jumps only. Mm. 
See, because he, he, you know, he for, he for, he for, how do you, you know, English, for gone or for go? He, he for go, pwede ba naging ng ED yun? For when? He for go, he for go the first couple of months. He skipped it, he skipped. Yeah, he skipped. Oh, no. That's the better word. Sorry. He uh, skipped. He, he skipped the first. <laughs> he skipped the first couple of jumps. So yeah, but then he, you know, he, he almost paid for it uh, at the uh, what was that height? Uh, five point eighty-seven. Five His first jump at five point eighty-seven was, a, so was a disaster. You know? Yes. Yeah. Right? He, uh, he, you know, that that was a mess, and maybe that's why he broke the world record. He, he really got. I'm just gonna say something. I, th I think he got mad at himself, you know, for uh, missing that one. Uh, yung, uh, 87, eh, 5.87. I, I saw the expression in his face. He was really disgusted, you know, missing the first jump at 5.87. That's unacceptable for him, you know. So, you know, I don't know. It uh, motivated him to, or it made him so mad that, uh, you know, he did 6.21 later. Very outside yeah. of uh, the three attempts at six, I was looking at uh, EJ's performance. He only had two attempts at 5.50. He had two attempts at 5.75, another two attempts at 5.70, and two attempts at 5.94. After he missed his first clearance of 5.94, did you think, were you confident that he was going to make it still? Absolutely uh, confident. Absolutely. You know, uh, he's been doing this for quite some time, you know, I think, uh, 590s, 590, you know, uh, uh, 590, uh, you know, his Asian record is 593. Uh, but but there's, all, there's always this ba barrier, you know. Uh, mental barrier, you know. Not physically. Physically, he can do it. He's got the skills, uh, everything, you know. Precisely why this uh, six meters was a tough thing for him, because, because of that barrier. You know? Once he breaks this uh, no, this uh, glass ceiling, uh, six uh, six meters, this guy can, uh, can give uh, that, that superstar a run for his money. So now that he's mental? Uh, over... Parang mental. Mental, yeah, you know. Just like any sport, just like any sport, you know, uh, if uh, if the bar if the barrier is six, like six, very it's very rare that people get over six, eh? except that uh, that guy from another planet, you know, he <laughs> does it like it's uh, eh? practice lang yung, uh, six meters, eh? but for most uh, you know human beings like uh, Nielsen and uh, Obiena and Tiago Bras. Six is a very, very difficult task, you know, especially for EJ. Because you know, Nielsen, you know, they broke six already. You know. uh, see, EJ, he goes into the, you know, he goes into this world championship with an Asian record of 93, 5.93. So what? You know, <laughs> these guys are jumping over six. So, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd think that uh, you have to jump you know. Way, way over five point between five point nine to six meters to get the podium finish at the very least. Okay. So yeah, he had a yeah. You mentioned that he had a very good um, training prior to the World Championships in Chula Vista in California, um, and that you gave him a bit of a pep talk before. What did you? How did you try to um, prepare him mentally for to? For the world championships to be able to do what you believed he could, you know, I'm just a cheerleader. You know, <laughs> uh, what he did, he did himself. Uh, the preparation was uh, there. Uh, uh, he arrived in Chula Vista in California in the, on the July uh, seven. And uh, broke camp in uh, on uh, July uh, July eighteen or nineteen, mm -hmm. something like that, you know. So he spent yeah. twelve days in, you know, in California to acclimatize uh, 
so weather, etc., etc., and the time zone. So 12 days is quite a bit. And then they broke camp and then spent another few days in uh, Eugene before the competition on Friday, last Friday. So the preparation was really, really there. You know, uh, it was well thought of. There was a, uh, there was a build up. The build up was in Europe, as you know. He uh, he got uh, uh, two or three, at least two or three uh, 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 gold or one number one finishes in the European tour. You know? Yeah. If not, uh, if not, at least a podium finish, but definitely two or three uh, gold medals in the the European tier, tour prior to uh, moving to uh, Chula Vista. He was speaking. You know, he was speaking. This time was handled very, very well. But not mature name, but he's maturing. He knows what to do and what not to do. So yeah, as far as uh, no, uh, talking to him, not much I can tell somebody who already knows what to do. You know, uh, you know, like like today, uh, I don't know, you know, people are asking me what 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 do you have to uh, uh, what do you normally you know. Tell people like uh, or advise uh, uh, athletes like uh, like uh, EJ. I don't know. I just text texted them two words: eh? hydrate well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even wish him good luck. My in it, Common sense. This these kids, they will forget about that. Uh, you know, they 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 want to win. They're excited to win, etc., etc. You know, but it's the little things that's gonna kill you. you know? 32, mm -hmm. 33 degrees in a dry, yeah. very, very dry, and the sun is scorching. You know, the sun is up up to seven in the evening. I jump yung araw I mean, as in really fierce sun, you know, and quite dry. You know, you know, I I, I thought uh, I saw a couple of the uh, jumpers uh, losing their legs. You know? And EJ actually was a beginning to, was cramping at one time. Eh? Even before oh, the, even before really? the, oh, that's my understanding, you know. He was cramping even before the, the, uh, the show started. Eh? So, you know, uh, senior citizens like us, you know, younger people have to take heed, you know, simple things like hydration. <laughs> they have to yeah. always keep it in mind. Well, Terry, we have a picture of the three medalists. Can we show that picture again? Eto, these are the three medalists. Uh, Duplantis is in the middle. Nielsen is over to uh, Duplantis' is right, so left of our screens. And then you've got E.J. Amiena. All of them taking a bite of their medals. How did you feel when you saw these three guys at the podium? Uh, it's exactly what I... Oh, well, not exactly. This is exactly how I saw it in my dream. <laughs> Really? Wow, you had a dream, pala. <laughs> dream ko, it's either uh, it's either EJ or Tiago Bras. <laughs> oh, okay. I I I, I thought that uh, uh, two and three, uh, uh, silver and gold. I thought that uh, either Nielsen, EJ, or uh, Tiago Bras. Upeda lang sana hanggang ap pang apat may medalya, you know? So mm -hmm. I saw the four faces. You see. These yeah. guys over the over the months and over the years, sila lang talaga ng ano eh, papasok yung apat na yan eh. But yeah. Terry, you mentioned to me immediately after the competition when we spoke, you said EJ made it look so easy. Yeah. Parang ginawa niyang madali yung pagpanalo ng bronze medal. Well, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what he has uh, to say, but uh, from uh, from an outsider looking at uh, uh, the the game, uh, the jumps, parang ano eh, parang ang dali. Eh. Uh, the way he did it, you know, like uh, what was that thing he cleared it with one jump? You know, eighty-seven ba? Uh, yeah, eighty-seven. Oh, eighty-seven. Yes. What, what, what five jump? Five eighty and five eighty-seven in yeah. one jump each. That was one jump. You know, under the circumstances, you know, yeah, the, the best pressure, of the best no? under those conditions. Yeah. Parang, parang, la lang. <laughs> so I guess the, the, I guess, although you said he was cramping a little kanina, the weather, hindi naman siya, like, super na affected. I guess maybe it, because, I guess coming from the Philippines, it would have, 
you know, somewhat, he would have been somewhat familiar to it. Well, I don't think he's familiar with Philippine weather anymore, right? He's he has been home for years. <laughs> so, That's you true. know, he's uh, familiar with Italian uh, weather already, you know, uh, as, far, as far as uh, body dynamics, Italiano, na yan, uh, European, uh, European uh, weather, uh, na yan, uh, yeah. adjustment, yeah. So, so Terry, uh, moving moving on from here, I know like we're really savoring this win. So, and you know, you have such belief and confidence in AJ, we can see that he can actually make the six mark. Um, like, what, where does EJ, EJ go from here? And um, in terms of like next competitions and then the Patafa also, um, how, will, how will they help EJ moving forward here? Because we are, of course, leading up to the Paris Olympics. Yeah, well, uh, you know, it's a, it's a little more challenging because of uh, the issues and the uh, uh, stuff that uh, went on for so, for so many months, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. These things, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, would have to be dealt with, uh, no doubt. No, no, uh, uh, no doubt about that. You know, there are things that we have to deal with uh, as far as uh, uh, e the, those issues that uh, went on for a few few months. You know, uh, we have to move forward, uh, and uh, uh, that is being done. You know, uh, in, in in stages. Uh, we will get there. We will get there. You know. Um, as far as uh, the future is concerned, as far as competition is concerned, there, there, there's so many, you know, there's so many things going on. For example, next year you have the Southeast Asian Games in May in Cambodia. You have the uh, Asian Games. Uh, I forgot the month. Uh, September, I think. September in the Hangzhou, China. The Chinese are determined to uh, to uh, go ahead with the uh, Asian Games next year in the Hangzhou, which was postponed this year. And then, uh, then again, you have the world championships. A repeat of what happened. Uh, 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 a repeat of this event. Uh, every two years, you know. But uh, because of COVID, blah blah blah, na 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 na, na compact lahat yan. Uh, so they will have they will have to hold it, you know, uh, uh, consecutive year. So there will be a, a world championships again in uh, next year. So there you, uh, there wow, are three or packed. four. Oh, oh it's, it's pretty packed, you know. And then it's European Tour, pa. So, so competitions are uh, competitions galore, you know. Uh, and the, and then of course, uh, the year after, after next year, you know, uh, parang parang ang lapit na, you know? The you know the prize, uh, Tokyo Olympics. You know? And I hope uh, to see both of you there. You know? Paris, Paris. <laughs> Paris, <laughs> Paris, <laughs> Paris, <laughs> Paris. 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 Tokyo, I'm going to Tokyo because I, I saw you guys there. <laughs> yes, we were all together. Well, Terry, again, congratulations for that excellent uh, performance of EJ. Congrats. Short of the gold, short of the silver, but a podium finish. This was the first time a Southeast Asian made it to a podium finish. The second Asian to do it, I think the first one was from Kazakhstan in 1993. But what a feat for a Filipino, EJ of Vienna, making history in Eugene, Oregon. With you, Terry Capistrano, is the new Patafa president watching in the stands. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you to all of you. Thank you to all of us. And thank you to EJ. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Congratulations and more power, Terry. We'll be talking to you many more times. Yeah, and uh, thank you for uh, having me. Uh, no, uh, I hope uh, no, uh, you know we, we spent uh, no, uh, some positive times, you know, some positive minutes uh, tonight. Thank you very much, uh, guys. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, Terry. Uh, for sure, have a safe trip home. Congratulations. Thank you and again. We'll see you in Manila. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Well, Diane, we didn't have EJ Obiana with us. And uh, I'm sure our, our viewers and our followers are a little disappointed that he couldn't come on. But again, please understand he's packing. He, there's very little time. He's not going to be sleeping. He'll be picked up at this hotel in a couple of hours and then he'll be flying back to Italy. So hope you understand. But we wanted to get uh, someone from Eugene, Oregon to speak in his behalf. And well, Terry Capistrano, the president of the Patafa, 
uh, was with us to tell you all about what happened in the World Athletics Championships. Well, I love his confidence, diba? You could feel na alam niya na magpo-podium si EJ. We're aiming pa nga for silver. So he did peak at the right time and sabi nga niya, thanks to EJ for really rising to the challenge after all, after everything that he's been through or that he is going through. So, yeah, congratulations again, EJ Obiana and Gary Capistrano. And thank you for joining us in this episode. Hopefully, we're going to try to get EJ and be able to speak to him. Um, I'm sure he's going to be have lots of fun and happy mo happy thoughts to share about this historic win. So stay tuned for that. All right. Thank you very much. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications. And also follow us on our social media accounts. All right. Also check out our sister company's website, playitright.com. They have lots of stuff that you can enjoy for sports, for fitness, for the serious athlete, and for the leisure athlete. That's playitright.com. Okay. Until next time, this is Diane Castillejo. Kenito Hanson, Play It Right TV all the time. See ya. Bye.